What's up YouTube? I just got home from my dentist appointment and um, everything went good as far as because I had to have a stitch out because a week ago when they did my um, took my top wisdom teeth off, uh, out my bad when they took out my top wisdom teeth um, I had to have a stitch on the right side so today I had to go and get that stitch out um, I just want to um, show you guys what I got while I was there because there's the clinic upstairs and then there's the dentist downstairs so it's basically dentist slash clinic um, this bag holds something that you will need during sex and yes TMI I know but it's important you, you guys probably have already guessed it some condoms yeehaw and they say that they're lubricated lubricated condoms so yeah whenever you guys have sex use these these are really um, to to prevent HIV any sexual transmitted diseases and also um, pelvic inflammatory disease guys I have it and um, it happens when you know you're having sex without condoms which I have a man, I've been with my man for two years by the 17th of this month, which has already passed. We have been together for two years, our two year anniversary, yes. So, um, just please don't judge me on this, but um, I have pelvic inflammatory disease. I'm just aware you guys of this because um, pelvic inflammatory disease is when you have sex without condoms, without protection and your kidneys and stuff get inflamed and your insides get inflamed from it and it's really uncomfortable when I had to get diagnosed with it um, I remember for like a week my insides were like hurting inside it wasn't just oh they're hurting just cramps no it was hurting inside like hurting like burning and hurting so I went to the doctor and they um, they talked to me about it they were like look you need to you need to have sex with condoms which I don't do that because I prefer not to but for you guys I'm just aware you of this it's really uncomfortable it's called pelvic inflammatory disease and it's really uncomfortable and um, they're like look you need to um, either wear condoms or you're gonna keep on getting this and pelvic inflammatory disease like you can get it at any time as long as you're having sex without condoms you're gonna get it if you've had it before so um yeah that's what they told me but you know like I've been with my man for two years why do I need to wear condoms when I have birth control I do the shot every three months why do I need to wear condoms and I know he ain't messing around he is very loyal um, we dated for one and a half years or two years in the past um, Yes, I was young. I was 16 and he was 20. But at the same time, like, we were in Job Corps. We met in Job Corps and we started dating in Job Corps. And then I got kicked out of Job Corps, so I had to leave. And he graduated and then he left. But um, he left Job Corps. But um, we were dating for one and a half to two years in the past. And, you know, I wasn't a good girlfriend. I wasn't loyal. I wasn't none of that. And now... I am loyal. Guaranteed I am loyal. Never fucked with nobody except for him. Never fucked with anybody's dick, sorry, except for his. So I'm just I'm just letting it be known that, you know, I am loyal now. I'm more grown. I was sixteen at that age when we first started dating. I didn't even know like I told him he was my first true love because of the fact that I didn't date one anybody before that. Like serious dating. And he was the first serious relationship I had when I was 16 and he was 20. Okay? And don't don't come at me in the comments saying he's a fucking chomo. Okay? Don't don't even go there because I don't want to hear it. Um, so, yeah. Just use condoms, guys. Um, you can get it at your clinic. If you need a pregnancy test, you can go into the clinic and they'll give you a free pregnancy test. Don't ever be afraid to tell somebody you're pregnant, okay? Um, you can hide it for so long, 
but like with my big sister like sh when she had Kalel, that's her last child she had and he's tiny um one of my my nephew because she has th three girls and one boy um my nephew when she had it my mom didn't even know she was pregnant because she was wearing you know bold or bulgy kind of shirts to where no one could see that she was pregnant one day she was in the emergency room and she called mom she's like mom i just had a baby and mom's like my mom's like what you just had a baby so yeah don't ever be afraid to tell somebody you're pregnant okay there is somebody out there if your parents don't agree with you getting pregnant um i'm not saying oh little kids be pregnant go get pregnant because no when you're 12 13 14 15 16 17 you should be thinking about your high school. You should be thinking about getting your education because if you don't have your education, sorry, nowadays in this world, you won't get a job and it sucks. So just, you know, graduate and do what you got to do. But at the same time, like if you're in that situation and you didn't even know or something like that or you're, you're afraid to tell somebody, tell your friend, tell somebody because they will be there for you. It's not like, you know, you got to have somebody there for you when you're pregnant. And if your man isn't there for you because you guys broke up for whatever reason, it's not his baby, whatever. You know, he's not wanting to take care of, you know, you when he got you pregnant in the first place. Like, all of that bullshit. Um, just try to stay strong for any parents out there or parents-to-be. But yeah, just really wrap your wrap that dick up. I'm sorry to say it, but wrap wrap that dick up because it's important because you don't want to end up pregnant with STDs, trans uh sex transmitted diseases. You don't want to end up with any of that. So, um anyways, uh I am home. I'm about to relax. I'm about to um I'll probably clean the kitchen, um clean babies and I's room again. I did laundry yesterday, so I don't have to do laundry today. Um, my dentist appointment went great, so I'm going to be able to eat normal foods. Like, don't kid me wrong. Like, when I first, like a week ago when I first got and pulled my top wisdom teeth, I could eat anything. As long as I went slow, I could eat anything. And usually they tell you to eat soft foods for about two, three days, but... I didn't even have the problem of that. I could eat regular food. So um, I'm just thankful to um, have done my wisdom teeth. All my wisdom teeth are pulled now out of my mouth so I don't have to ever worry about that. Um, they told me in about six months or so I need to go in for like a cleaning. And that's about it. Anyways guys, like and subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye. Peace guys. Bye!